size of about 7%, which basically means that um, there was about, for the total variation, 7% can be accounted for by which district each individual lived in. And so that could be attributed to a number of things, like I was talking with Jerry about. It could mean accessibility to, to alcohol or liquor, depending on that district or SES or various other factors. And so although um, it's not necessarily connected um, to the community level trauma, there could be something else that I have yet to, to consider. And so I think this is important, again, because of it, it emphasizes context. And I, I don't think any of us in this room have issues with not being socially conscious. But I think as MFTs, it's important that we always take into consideration contextual factors. And doing this project, it also reminded me a lot about determinants of health and how we can predict life expectancy based upon individuals' zip code. And I just think as we continue to work with diverse populations um, and populations that exist in marginalized communities, it's important that we always take into consideration those factors that might be imposing upon them and they're not in isolation. And this concludes my presentation. And I include this picture because I was in Southeast Asia in Bangkok and I feel like this is a good representation of my relationship with stats. So, yeah. That's what it feels like, yeah. All right. So, the, I'm curious about prom, or if the World uh, Health Organization report that you talked about, or if there, were, if there were a number of reasons why they think alcohol use was increasing so much in the last few years. And I know there was, um, you were talking about trauma, and I didn't know if there was other mentions of other, other factors that might be considered in future analyses. Mm -hmm. So what I found so far, as well as I, I failed to mention that we also have, um, and a, currently a Cambodian student that works in our lab, and we have two students from Cambodia coming in the fall. And so we're able to, you know, get insider information and kind of talk about um, some of these issues. But I think the cultural piece um, that I mentioned very briefly, and just how, um, like, what the beliefs are about alcohol use, and how it is a sign of, of strength and, and maturity, and really encouraging children as young as five, like really not necessarily thinking about the implications of that, of introducing a five or six year old to alcohol use. And so I just think culturally, there are some very significant um, differences there where it, like the lack of education about those issues really needs to improve. Yeah. Thank you.